Hi, my name is Mike Cassio. Welcome back to the Golf Rehabilitation Series presented by JAG1 Physical Therapy, Part 4. In this series, or in this part, we're going to be going over an effective golf warm-up that you can get done in about 15 minutes. A warm-up should be tailored to each person individually, however, there are certain movement patterns that every golfer should hit, so we'll try to touch on most of those in today's warm-up. It's important to differentiate warming up versus training. Training involves trying to ingrain new movement patterns and learn new skills. Warming up is the process of getting the patterns going that you already know and getting your body ready to swing a club. Most amateur players leave themselves about 15 to 20 minutes for a warm-up. Um, that's about what I'm going to give you today, although those who complete a deliberate warm-up they have been shown to save 1.5 to 2 strokes on their score. A really good exercise to work on your thoracic mobility and your upper and lower body disassociation is called thoracic turns. So all we're gonna do, cross our arms across our shoulders, get into your golf stance, and then without moving your lower body, you're gonna turn your upper back as far as you can, try to keep your head looking straight down, and then we're gonna go the other way. So you can do this slowly and push into the end range of motion, and then you could slowly pick up speed, being sure not to move your lower body to work on that upper and lower body disassociation. In addition to that is now pelvic rotation. So we have to stabilize our upper body and we're gonna to try to rotate our pelvis without moving our upper body. This is a little harder, requires a lot of core strength, upper body stability and pelvic control, but this will also work on our upper and lower body disassociation and start to warm up some muscles around your pelvis. Toe touch windmills are a great way to improve your flexibility and mobility of your hips and shoulders and hamstrings. You can do these for about 30 seconds for two to three rounds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna go down to my left toe. As I do that, I'm gonna reach my left hand towards the ceiling or towards the sky. So it kind of looks like this. As I come down, I reach up, Gives me a good stretch through my hips, lengthens out my hamstrings, and mobilizes my shoulders. If I do this for 30 seconds, I'm gonna feel a lot looser through my shoulders and hips, more ready to swing a golf club. Part of a good warm up is getting your blood flowing and even getting your heart rate up a little bit. These reverse lunges with rotation not only do a good job of warming up the muscles in your lower body, improving rotational mobility, and improving your shoulder mobility, but it'll definitely get your heart going a little bit, get you warmed up ready for the first tee. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna stand with our arms up above our head, and then you're gonna take a step back, and then you're gonna rotate away from the back leg. And we step up, go ahead and repeat. You do that five times per side, two to three sets you'll definitely be feeling like your lower body is more ready to swing the club. So next we're gonna show you a stretch for thoracic rotational mobility, which is really important to get a full turn through your golf swing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit. You wanna make sure you squeeze your legs and knees together, because this is gonna lock down my pelvis and lumbar spine, so all my rotation will come from my upper back. We'll put a club either behind your back or across your chest. We're gonna go behind my back for the demonstration. All I'm gonna do, keeping my knees together, I'm gonna rotate as far as I can to my right. Once I hit the end point, I'm gonna dip that side down. You'll then find that you have a little bit more rotation. Hold for about five seconds. Do five to 10 per side. It'll open up your thoracic mobility before you're out.